<laughs> All right, uh, this is our, man, what is this? Is this our sixth night here? Huh? Is this our sixth night? All right, here we are, our uh, sixth night here in uh, Oregon. Spent it here in uh, the Blue Heron uh, parking lot. They uh, actually allow overnight parking here. There was a couple other uh, vans and uh, an RV that's still here. Um, last night was uh, pretty windy. Even right now you can hear it, but it was really windy last night to a point where the whole truck was rocking back and forth. Um, but didn't really bother us. Uh, we slept just fine inside the back of the truck. Um, weather's been pretty good. It's a little chilly, but compared to how it was up in the mountains, uh, this is doable. Um, we were just inside earlier checking out the store. Ooh, I don't know if this is going to even pick up with all this wind. <laughs> and um, yeah, we checked out the store, picked up a couple of things. Um, they also have a, a breakfast here, so we end up uh, picking up breakfast instead. Um, and um, plan on heading up to uh, Tillamook Cheese Factory in a second here and go uh, check them out as soon as they open. Um, see uh, what they have to offer. All right, to the Cheese Factory. More cheese for them? Let me get some more cheese. Since they didn't really have any here. At least not their own brand. <laughs> yeah, apparently they uh, carry the competitor's cheese. If we're gonna buy the competitor's cheese, might as well go straight to the source. As we were leaving, we noticed that they had a couple of pigs in here. And we had to stop and uh, check out for a second. Look at these guys. They're huge! Oh my god, look at this one. Just I've never seen like pigs like this. Look at this one's right in the. Is that their feed? I think so. He's all up in there. Yeah, he'll be growing. He'll be growing, Batty. He's bigger than you. <laughs> Batty, what's up? It's a petting zoo, but you're not allowed to go inside. They have to come to you. And they ain't gonna come with this one. I'm gonna get him. be doing the self-guided tour upstairs self-guided tour start here Bagged. Oh, right here, they get cut right here.
kept on hearing a clunking noise on this side. Every time I break it with Pulsate, like it was grabbing, I thought the hardware in here came apart and I don't see anything loose in here. Drums look good. And the only thing I can see is there's a little bit of seepage right there. And I'm thinking my wheel bearing took a to took a went out on me. And that is not something I can have fixed here in this parking lot. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Do I limp this to the next town over, get it closer to where my buddy lives? Even with his help, he won't have the tools I need, but I'll feel safer being closer to someone I know. There he is. Flatbed. Save my butt. Man. So glad I know some people in, in, uh, all over the country, I guess. And willing to help. It's going to be my first time meeting them in person. Working our way over to my buddy's place. Hopefully, uh, might start working on it tonight. Have most of the parts, and if we can save some of the old stuff, uh, I should be able to get this fixed tonight. I think it might have pulled out. It's okay. See that one? Oh. Get caught somewhere. Right there. A little. A little crunchy. It's been, it finally started to leak yesterday when I took it apart. I, I, well, I noticed it was just leaking in there, but it's starting to leak out now. And the back side is completely destroyed. Look at that. I'm um, missing a couple of bulb bearings. God, I think they might be inside the diff. Oh no, I can't get up in there. We must have shredded metal shavings. Oh, there goes one of the balls. It's a little <laughs> stupid plug. This right here. Oh, no, that one. That one's good. Yeah, that one's really small. I think this one will work. You're uh, that one's toast. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't uh, try to make it to the next town over. Yeah, no. <laughs> Oh man, I hope those shavings aren't all over. In there? Yeah. It, I don't think it would have to get past the seal. Right. So it should all have been here. And yeah, because this keeps it sealed. Because I don't see any, it doesn't look brown in there. Yeah, no, it looks pretty okay. All right, that little trick worked. A little welding and what was that, air chisel? Yep. <laughs> Knocked it right out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that may be how I did it originally, but. All right, here we are. Got her all fixed up, pulled out. Uh, we haven't put any miles on it yet, but we're gonna roll down the road and see, make sure that everything's good. And then uh, off we go. Can't thank uh, this guy enough. <laughs> yeah, of course. And his uh, tr uh, truck here that we got to rip around town a little bit to uh, pick up uh, parts. Um, we're definitely gonna have to come back and do this again in a Maybe different we'll in a different situation. Yeah, we'll go rip some trail We'll do time. yeah, we'll do some trail runs instead of uh, trail repairs. <laughs> All right, wouldn't be an adventure without a struggle. <laughs> got the wheel bearing replaced. Thankfully. Uh, uh, I knew some people up here that was willing to make the drive out and come uh, tow me back to his place. And luckily his dad has a shop with uh, 
possibly every tool that we needed to get this done. Um, not even 24 hours later, we're already here back on the road. Um, literally, I think 23 hours, we were less than 23 hours, we were already done and on driving uh, office property. Um, I have not ate since breakfast yesterday because I lost all appetite. But uh, here we are, <laughs> picked up some takeout here in uh, Salem, uh, one of their parks out here. We're going to eat up and uh, work our way back to the coast and uh, see what else uh, is there left to uh, see along the coast and then work our way down south uh, back home uh, to California. Want to give him some price? There you go, Tubby. There you go, Tubby. With the truck driving so good now, and I'm uh, comfortable with the, the repairs, uh, we decided to head back towards the coast and uh, finish out our trip out here, headed back south towards California. Oh yeah, the sun uh, is peeking its eye out. And, uh, and again, it's been every time the rain uh, stops when we're here, just took a second. Uh, as soon as I said it was raining, it started to slow down and stop. So yeah, we're gonna hang out for a bit, enjoy the sunset, relax. Uh, we basically needed uh, to reset after, after what just happened. I can't thank Chad enough. Um, save, saved our, our trip, at least uh, allow us to enjoy the coast a little longer instead of um, being stuck in town waiting for parts and uh, someone that can actually help us get it repaired. is no go. suitable sites, free sites, because the area was pretty trashed. Um, being close to uh, the town, I guess, uh, allows what I've read online to uh, easily access the area and kind of uh, party it up and just leave a lot of trash. Um, so we didn't feel comfortable uh, or safe um, at any of the sites that we did find. So on the way, on our way back, uh, further down south along the coast, we found this little campsite around here. And uh, it wasn't bad, it was um, first come first serve, so whatever was available, you just uh, snag the number down, go up front and uh, put your money in the envelope, um, and then you get your spot. Um, yeah, we got here pretty late uh, last night. Um, I can't thank uh, Chad enough, um, plus the uh, number of, I had so many people online reach out offering to help um, it definitely helps with uh, with being out this far out um, and know that there are people willing to help so um, yeah we can try and get up early today and uh, make up a little lost time we're gonna try to see um, as much of the the remaining coast um, that we haven't seen yet um, and work our way back into California Hey, 
you this. Self-service, full service. I don't know if I'll ever get used to having someone fill my gas here though. I can get used to uh, the low gas prices they have here. up here port offered and we still got all this coastline to drive down before we get into california and we still have to look for a campsite tonight so hopefully we find something along the coast or near it and i believe battle rock wayfinding point i think this is the battle rock over here somewhere I guess I stand corrected. I think this is Battle Rock. A little hard to see right now. The sun is not exactly in the right spot for this. It's supposed to have a pretty good view. Got here a little too late. beach last one was pretty nice we didn't have anyone there this one definitely a little bit busier a lot more people sun sun's about to set soon i don't know if we'll be able to see it seems like it's always cloudy on sunsets out here right now steep climb down. I have to come back out here in the morning. All right, here we are. Found a little spot uh, right off uh, the highway, and uh, we've been trying to find places like, well, we were expected to do a lot of this type of uh, uh, camping or uh, pullouts where we can spend the night um, and then head out early in the morning. 
but uh, a lot of the places further up uh, along the coast, uh, at least north of uh, Coos Bay, had a lot of um, no overnight um, parking or no camping signs. Uh, once we got past uh, Coos Bay and down south here, um, almost every single pullout um, had no signs and we seen uh, other people uh, uh, with RVs and stuff pulled off um, spending the night on the side of the road. Uh, behind us there's a little hike, um, actually it's right this way, uh, steep, a uh, little steep hike and uh, leads down to a little hidden uh, beach down there. We were down there last night checking it out and man, it, we got there right as the sun was setting and it was beautiful. <laughs> but the, the hike back up uh, was a little slippery. Uh, we may head down there tonight, or not tonight, uh, right now, um, and check it out with a little more daylight. And then let's get the show on the road. As you're uh, hiking down the trail, you are welcomed by sweet looking waterfall. Leads down to the beach. How cool is that? Some of the obstacles to get there look like these. It's a pretty rutted out trail, and the rocks are, are a little slippery when they're wet. Look at that. How cool is this? It's a hidden little beach that's not heavily visited. There actually isn't anyone here. I take that back. I think I saw someone run down here. Coming, it looks like there was another route down here and, and uh, I've seen her work her way down, but look at this place. Man, I almost wanted to just spend all day out here. It's like out of a movie. What an amazing little treat this morning on our uh, last day or two here in Oregon. I'm gonna keep uh, the audio a little short here. If I don't wanna hear me uh, huffing and puffing as I work my way back up to the vehicle. <laughs> oh, hike down as far as I felt comfortable down there. Uh, there is a path that leads you all the way down to the, the shore, but I didn't wanna take that chance down here by myself right now but man like i said man spend all day or spend at least an afternoon out here have lunch such a beautiful sight hidden a little gem for sure all right stop number two on our journey back back home we got a lot of uh, coastal coastal uh, views the entire way and i'm excited for it it's gonna be amazing Arch Rock Viewpoint. Apparently there is a poison oak out here. So we gotta be careful. There it is. That's pretty cool. Look at that coastline right here. It's gonna be a relaxing trip home for sure. Closer to the shoreline, better 
number three, four. <laughs> Check out this little beach here. Close to the water, let the pups uh, get a little exercise. Look at this. See it clear out and you walk down on it. Last fill up in uh, Oregon before we head down into uh, California. Not the cheapest gas here. Here's the sign. Made it to California. <laughs> Made it over here to California's uh, California and Oregon state line. Here's the welcome to California sign. And then the Oregon signs right across the street. We didn't get to do this, uh, not this sign, but we came up from the five and we didn't get to stop at the sign because there really was no pullout for it. So we might flip around and get a shot of this one as well. All right, I had to flip it around. Oregon has been great. What an adventure we've had. But I had to flip around and at least get a shot on this side since uh, we couldn't do the other one.